got the transporter in calibration. There are a lot of bio signs in that mine, all stacked on top of each other. I need something to identify the commander's signal. Something loud, energetic. Understood. Commander Rydak, we have penetrated the storm's interference, but we are unable to pinpoint your signature. We need you to generate a high energy event to help us. High energy event, got it. Tylus, are you still with me? I am good. I'm going to shoot my phaser at some dialectic to cause a piezoelectric rupture. Or, or signal flare. These crystals have to be pure enough. Bigger still. Come on. Damn it. Whoa! Dilithium explosion. Is that energetic enough? More than enough. I can lock onto their biosigns now. I've got their biosigns isolated. Commander, we have your signal. I'm gonna tunnel a path through the ionic interference. Got a path. Just gotta calibrate the signal. Energize. Petty Officer Diaz. We're 
losing her. Pattern is degrading. Can you hold the signal? I'm trying. Captain Solano and Ambassador Spock have just returned from Hotel. Take a look at that. Rannick, I need you on the bridge, now. I'm here. The Illidians are preparing to attack Hotari. Status report. The systems are now fully powered. All torpedo tubes open. They're preparing to fire. We should hail the Illidian flagship, Captain. Readying phasers if you want them. Stand by. Await my order. Recommendation, Commander. We need to act quickly. Hail the Illidians. Maybe we could talk some sense into them. Hail them. No response. Try it again. Still nothing. The Illidians. They've powered down their weapons. Ah. Uh, you sure about that, Mr. Amon? They're venting some kind of gas from their ship. Hold on. Now all of their systems have shut down. That's unexpected. Commander Ermont, scan them again. We have to be sure. No mistaking it. They're dead in the water. What's happening? There's an energy dampening field coming from Tau. Take us out of range. Aye, Captain. Captain, the flagship is hailing us. On screen. Zeldi to the starship Resolute. Our main power cores are completely disabled. The more power we give, the more it takes. Running off batteries. Life support systems have failed. Unable <coughs> to ventilate. Contaminated atmosphere. Admiral, you are about to launch an attack on a defenseless planet. Kobliat, you sided with the Hotari in the negotiation, but that does not matter now. My crew is going to die. Please, I beg of you. You must render assistance. System failures are compounding around my ship. We'll help you. Yes, we will. Thank you. Admiral, excuse us while we devise a rescue plan. By my estimate, the crew only have 23 minutes before their atmospheric mix becomes lethal. While we may not be able to transport the Illidians directly, if we were to transport them from their ship to a nearby shuttlecraft, it should be possible to amplify the transporter signal there and reroute it to the Resolute. The Ambassador's plan is incomplete. An away team will have to beam aboard the Zeldi and set up pattern enhancers for a stable enough signal out of the dampening field. Thank you for identifying my deficiency, Commander Chobak. Jara, I need a senior officer in command of this. Take Chobak and Bedrosian in the shuttle and get it done. Petty officers Diaz and Edsilar, you will be part of the rescue mission, as will I. We will bring the shuttle within transporter range of the Zeldi, then beam you both aboard. Beam us on board? Why? The pattern enhancers must be placed on the Zeldi to make it possible to beam the Illidians back to the Resolute. Gather the pattern enhancers and get to the docking bay. going on the wrong mission. Oh, uh, what's that? We're going to rescue the Illidians, the people that oppressed the Hotari, when we should be going to rescue Miranda. This 
thing that's happened to Miranda is like the Trill symbiosis joining, only worse. And I've seen too many people I care about wiped away by some greater entity to stand by while the same thing happens to her. I wanted no part of it then, and I won't stand for it now. Their bodies stolen and used like puppets. I'm not giving up on her either. We'll get her back. Whatever it takes. Right now, we've got other lives to save. Yeah. The away team is ready. Resolute to Shuttlecraft Melville. You're cleared for takeoff. Acknowledged, Resolute. Melville taking off. within range. Any closer will put the shuttlecraft at risk. Preparing to transport the away team. Energizing. life support. It's almost completely drained. And the other systems, too. Oh, no. We gotta get to their transporter room. These must close in case of emergency. They don't have enough power left to function. Carter, give them a charge with your phaser. Should make them open.
not working. No power's running through any of this. We gotta get him open Stop. manually. I am the ranking officer here. State your intentions. We are under siege. Explain yourselves. Our intentions? Your leaders asked for our help. And they sent you? Yeah. Whoa there. I am still able to stand. What are you trying to do? We gotta get into your transporter room. Then we can get your people off the ship. Make sure they're evenly spaced. We need to manually adjust beam trajectory so they connect. I got this one. You get the others. the others are lined up. Are aligned and ready to go. Let's round them up. These will boost the signal so we can transport through the storm. We have a shuttle outside this ship that will route the signal to the Resolute. All crew to transporter room two. We are evacuating. We're alive. They come. <laughs> okay, coordinates. Beam status. Energizing controls. Please step on the platform so we can evacuate you, Admiral. The crew goes first, Hunter. Sir, I mean this. You! Get on the platform already! Okay. The interface is in Elydian, but the layout is the same as the Starfleet transporter. I just gotta do what I did before. Select the people to transport. I need to select all of them. Plot a path through the ionic interference.
path goes through too much interference, it won't work. signal gain to get the highest possible output. Even at this range, the interference is too much. The system is suggesting better transport coordinates. Diaz, the shuttle. You're sitting right in the thick of it. I'm sending you specific coordinates for a clear signal path. Waypoint's been added to the navigational computer. There, Commander. Give or take 50 meters. Melville to away team. Energize. I have the first group of Elidians in the pattern buffer. Redirecting and transmitting to the Resolute now. This is Resolute. We have the Elidians safely aboard. <laughs> We did it! I was so worried this wouldn't work. We got this. Don't celebrate yet, Lieutenant. We've got a lot of people left to save. Right. Sorry. This is Commander Rydek. We're holding steady. Signal is good. Keep them coming. in my charge, sir. I must insist you go so you can lead our people. I will see to any stragglers. Yes. That may be for the best. But first, let me thank our human saviors. I'll pin medals on your uniforms when this is over. For all your brave work. You're very welcome, Adam. Does Starfleet let you wear another fleet's medal? We will find out. for transport. Get the Admiral to safety. Energize. Massive power surge! 
Ash. Sending available power to the annular confinement beam. I have the Illidians in the pattern buffer, but I cannot resolve their signal to send them through to the Resolute, nor can I materialize them here. We need a better position with the Resolute. their patterns. I need more power, but internal relays are not functioning. I'll do it manually. <sighs> I'm trying. I will lose the transport if I do not have more time. The signal is resolving. <sighs> is injured. Lieutenant Pedrosian has been injured, but the last transport was successful. Oh, thanks, B. Unfortunately, our shuttle systems were damaged by the power surge. We can no longer serve as a transporter node. Carter, these readings are off the charts. The source of the storm is on this ship. That must have been the power surge when it came on board. Right. It's a con energy source. If they call it the Cartabula, it's here. Is that? The intruders are preparing to bring the Zeldi to war. And we're about to be stuck on it. There is an old Elidian saying about leaping off the hot skillet and falling to the flame below. Yeah, we got that one too. This, this is an opportunity for us. We're on this ship. We can stay in the shadows. See where they're taking the Cartabula. Do something to stop them. You always wanted the chance to do something big. That's all well and good. But if we're not getting off this ship, we're really backed into a corner here. We can't get off this ship. But maybe I could target somewhere on, on the ship. ship. We are reading the warp engines powering up. Yeah, we picked up on that. We do not way to evacuate you from the Zeldi. The shuttlecraft is too heavily damaged. That's all right, Commander. We have a plan of our own. We're gonna stay on this ship. That is very bold of you, Mr. Diaz. Live long and prosper. I hear voices down the corridor. They will be here soon. I'll guard the door. You just get us out of here, Diaz. Hey, Stretch. Help us with this map. Find somewhere as remote as you can. They're almost here. There. The aft cargo bay. That is acceptable. Sounds good to me. Whatever you're doing, do it now! We're locked 
locked in. Board to transport. Duty often calls for sacrifice. She knows it, and our people on the Zelda know it. Contact the Resolute, Mr. Chovak. Have them bring us back. And tell them we'll need medical waiting for Lieutenant Bedrosian. Yes, Commander. Through your efforts, we were able to save almost a hundred Elidians from certain death. As for Lieutenant Pedrosian, well, Duval will do her best, but the prognosis isn't very encouraging. Lieutenant Pedrosian went above and beyond her duty. She deserves a commendation. I'll see what I can do. Commander Rydek, I heard what you did. The sacrifice you made for our sake. You saved not only my life, but the lives of my crew. An incredibly heroic deed. All of Elidia is in your debt. We cannot thank you enough. Just doing our duty, Admiral. I'm sure you understand. If you'll excuse us. Of course. How are we getting our away team back? Ambassador Spock and the rest of the senior staff are waiting for us in the briefing room to discuss just that. I wanted a chance for you and I to speak first, given the circumstances. While protocol might suggest we alert Starfleet about our situation, missing crew, the data breach, possible threat from the Hotari or Khan, I think we're better off keeping this to ourselves, under our control. You know what's at stake for me here, and what is at stake for you, too. I can't afford another mission gone wrong, and I'm really counting on your support. I don't want to raise a false alarm just yet. But I have every confidence we can wrap this up before it gets any worse than it already is. I'll follow your lead. We can keep this under wraps for now. Always nice to know you have my back. One of the primary reasons I brought you on board. Made the right decision. And in turn, I hope you'll have my back as well. Of course. Loyalty like yours doesn't go unnoticed or unrewarded. We're ready in the briefing room, Captain. On our way. Is there any update on our efforts to trace the Zeldi's warp signature? Unfortunately, no. 
Somehow they were able to mask the signature and block our ability to track their trajectory. I'm also concerned about what went with them. A Taconian energy source. Sidron referred to it as the Cartabula. Yes, I've been analyzing your tricorder scans. This Cartabula is more powerful than any energy source on record. It disabled our ability to warp and likely created the Ion Storm. We have to find that ship. It could be anywhere by now. Literally anywhere. The Hotari must know where the ship is headed. If you can even call them Hotari at this point. Whoever they are, they've cut off all communication. And our only source on the inside is now in sickbay. Tylus. The Takan also compromised our systems when Petty Officer Maris stole data from our computer core. We're assessing what was lost as we speak. It's just too soon to say exactly what they had access to. Starfleet needs to know about this. We're not contacting Starfleet until we fully understand the situation. There are too many unknowns. They stole our data. That's reason enough to warn Starfleet. But the captain does have a point. It might be better to wait until we know more. We either sound the alarm prematurely and look bad if nothing comes of it, or we keep this to ourselves and take the blame when it blows up in our face. Either way, we can't afford to get this wrong. Indecision is not without its own consequences. I want to speak with the Hotari to get to the bottom of this before we get Starfleet involved. I expect we'll meet resistance. The Hotari think we violated our neutrality by entering their minds. Assuming the negotiations are off, we no longer have an official role here. We still have a responsibility to the Hotari and the Illidians. The Takan are a threat to both their civilizations. No. They're a threat to us all. The device Commander Rydek found in the Taconian Vault is an advanced delivery mechanism for a complex biogenetic transformation process. Meaning what, exactly? Not only are they bioforming innocent hosts, transforming them into Takan, they're taking the DNA and engrammatic data of a specific Taconian and displacing that of its host. It's a hostile takeover on a cellular level. Bringing individual Takan back to life, one by one. Is there some way it could be reversed? That's exactly what I've been trying to find out. So far, it appears the answer is no. Once the Taconian takes control, the displacement of the host is irreversible. And the bioforming appears to be permanent. Petty Officer Maris called herself a scion of the flame. But the computer had no information about it. She also shot the hell out of my ship as she escaped, nearly killed a few of our crew. So we know this about those scions. They're dangerous. The Takan have crossed a line. That much is certain. However, meeting with the Hotari could offer insight into their true intentions. Under the pretense of an apology for betraying their trust and trespassing on their territory. Given the options, this might be our best chance to find out more about what they have planned. I couldn't agree more. Tabula gun, I can confirm we have regained warp capability and the use of our transporters. Excellent. Commander Ermot, see if we can arrange a meeting on Hotari as soon as possible. As Ambassador Spock suggested, under the pretense of an apology. Aye, Captain. Nice work, everyone. You're long overdue for a Deridian infusion. It looks like I am. I'll give you two a moment, but she needs her rest. I understand. Commander Rydek? Is that you? I thought I heard your voice. How are you feeling? Better. 
I guess. But my head's still ringing. Before you say anything, I just want you to know I don't blame you for what happened. I heard that last transport made it through. That was our mission, to save lives. So, I'm glad it was success. And Dr. Duval tells me she can get me my sight back. Eventually. I... I just hope this isn't the end of my career. Can't be much of a tactical officer if you can't see what's coming. But this is all I've ever wanted to do. The latest advancements in vision enhancement are truly remarkable. I wouldn't be surprised if you came back better than you ever were. I just want to be able to see again. That's all I'm asking. All right, you two. Lieutenant Pedrosian needs her rest, and you have an infusion waiting for you. I will check in on you soon. I promise. I'm gonna hold you to it. Aside from almost running out of Duridium, you're in good health. Nice to get some positive news for a change. You I don't worry about. The captain, however... Go on. You see it, don't you? He's desperate. Withholding intel from Starfleet just to save his reputation. That's not normal behavior for a captain. And you dodged the issue. We can't make mistakes. Might go down as the most obvious thing a first officer ever said. You've spent enough time with him now. Seen enough of how he runs the ship. If there's something wrong, as the ship's doctor, I need to know. Don't sugarcoat it. You know I wouldn't. To be honest, I'm worried about him. It seems like the stress of this mission is getting to him. He has so much riding on its success, and I am concerned he'll do something rash to ensure it. To know we see eye to eye on this. And I want to be clear, I care about Solano, I really do. I've been his doctor for years. There are more important things at stake than offending an old friend. If it gets any worse, you know where to find me. Jara. Monitor your Duridium levels. I'll be right back. How's your wound? Lucky I was never there. I feel lucky you were there with me. Without you, I'd be, well... Thank you for saving my life. Even with the wonders of your technology, it wouldn't have mattered if you'd left me for dead. I should be thanking you. You took that disruptor shot for me. Without you, I might be the one in sickbay, or worse. Well, I couldn't just let you die. Not after all you did to help. I won't forget it. We saw the truth down in those mines. What Citron and Galvin really are. Who they've become, the lengths they're willing to go to, what they did to that Lydian. It's hard to accept that everything I thought I knew, so much was a lie. The horror of that underneath our feet the entire time. What we learned down there will help us win this fight. Truth is power, and we'll use that to stop Galvin and Sidron. If you're right, it was worth it. I truly hope you're right. Commander Rydick, you're needed on the bridge at once. What is it? The Hotari have agreed to meet. They haven't found us yet. We have no idea when or if the Resolute is going to catch up. But if we can get access to the Zeldi systems, we might be able to figure out what the Takan are up to. You got somewhere we could do that?
Based on how this is reinforced, it probably contains dilithium. A straight phaser blast could cause a piezoelectric rupture and blow a hole in the ship. Better be careful. Come on, Carter. We need to stick with the tall guy. Up there? All right. Etzelar, let's do this. The internal sensors. The what? When they scan the ship for life signs, they'll know right where we are. There must be devices that perform the scan. Right there. And there. There's several of them around the room. Got it. We'll disable them. How? They're too high to reach, even for me. Not too high for our phasers. Low power, Millie. Let's not set off any fire alarms. I got the ones over here. Got one. Another down. Hurry, Carter! I am! Only one left. comes. It worked. They won't be able to detect us. That buys us some time. Now that the Zeldi has its power again, I might be able to access some of the ship's systems from here. I'll take care not to give away our position. The Takan might not even know we're still on board this ship. Miranda only saw us transport away. She probably thinks we're back on the Resolute. Miranda. Don't give up on her yet, Carter. She had you in her sights, and she didn't shoot. That means the real Miranda is still in there. The Takan don't have her. Not completely, at least. She must still feel something. That is a reason to hold out hope. And a reason to remember that Dakon haven't just hijacked this ship. They've hijacked every body they're in. I know it seems like we could never trust her again. But maybe there's a way to turn her back and Miranda could help us stop the Dakon. Here, on the ship. Just because the true joining is permanent, doesn't mean the Takan bioforming has to be. I've heard enough of your prattling on about your friend. You have to think like a soldier. She's our enemy now. She'll be dealt with like the rest of the Takan. My friend Miranda is not responsible for what she's doing. The Takan have taken control of her mind. We certainly can't kill her for it. Speak for yourself. If anyone threatens the Empire, they are the enemy. It's just one life, and it's already been lost. You don't get to talk about Miranda. You don't get to ignore the truth. We don't like this any more than you do. The Takan are a threat to all of us. They turned our crewmates too. You really think they're gonna stop there? No. And yet we still risked our lives to come help you, and not everyone made it. I'll grant that you showed your grit and effectiveness. More than I can say about accessing ship systems. They block out helm control, propulsion. They're closing down systems faster than I can check them. They're always changing these interfaces. I can hardly keep up. Let us help. Fine. They're using a senior officer's access code to lock down our systems from the bridge. The Takan must have turned someone in command. Here's something. I can see the course they have plotted in.
straight to the edge of the galaxy. Nothing but uninhabited systems along the way. And if we keep going, we'll leave charted space. A lot sooner than I like to think about, too. That can't happen. We need to take control and turn this ship around. Get back to the front lines of the battle for Olivia. We are on the front lines. They're going to do this all over the Quadrant. The whole Federation is at risk. That is a possibility, but it's already a reality for my people. I'm sure it's pretty damn real for the people who are trapped in their own bodies controlled by the Takan. You can't just turn your back on them. I'll take this ship without you if I have to. And I'll bring it back to Olivia, or I'll destroy it. I won't let it stay in the hands of the enemy. Think strategically. We stand a better chance by working together. You're right to be angry. But it doesn't do any good to turn it on us. Fair enough. The most important thing is that we get control of this ship. So that we don't end up so far away that the Resolute can't ever catch up to us. And if we control the Zeldi, that also means they can't use that cartabula thing. I'm not sure we can do much more from here. What's this? It's a data stream. It looks to be a two-way communication. Let me see if I could put it through a demultiplexing processor. Can you get that clearer? I'm trying. Okay. That should do it. Hello? Can you read me? Itasca, is that you? Major! It's my lieutenant. Where are you? I'm here with some of the others. We're trapped in the ATP. Our artillery targeting platform. The bulkheads are sealed, and ruptured power conduits on the other side are discharging at high voltage. Major, we've seen Sidron and the other Atari. And if we can get free, I think we'll be able to overpower them and take back the ship. Itasca, are you still there? Itasca, are you still there? You shouldn't trust anyone else you meet. The Hotari have been transforming people on the ship. We've seen it happen. Bioforming. It's only a matter of time before any remaining crew are turned against us. You have to come and help us. I gotta ask, are you sure that's really your comrade? It's Itasca. You're going to have to trust me. I know Lieutenant Itasca well. That's her. Clear and not under duress beyond our current circumstances. I'm sure of it. Trust goes both ways. We trust you. You trust us. I'll go with that. Until you give me reason not to. Back at you, Stretch. We'll make it to you undetected and we'll free you from the ATP. We'll be ready and waiting, sir. I may not know the computers very well, but I know every inch of this ship. I can get us there, safely, through the back routes. May approach. Your Majesty, an apology is in order. The Federation... Spare us your apologies, your excuses, your pathetic explanations. You said you were here under the pretense of peace, yet you trespassed into our minds. I should have known you couldn't be trusted when you sided with the Illidians. Your intentions have been clear from the start. I take full responsibility for my actions which were entirely my own, not the Federation's. How noble. Your Majesty, if I may. Her actions nearly caused a war. I was addressing the Queen. Galvin speaks for the Votari now. Fortunately, we were able to resolve this ourselves despite your interference. The Illidians have agreed the mines will remain under Hotari control. 
We now recognize the Hotari as the sole authority in this region. Your presence here is no longer necessary. So you can consider the matter resolved. They never wanted the Federation involved. This was all just a ploy from the start. We never needed the Federation involved. But we're so thankful that you've come. That being said, the sooner you leave, the better. The hell we will. What about my crew trapped aboard that ship? Or what you did to my security team? The data you stole? I want to make one thing clear. No one is to leave Hotari space without Federation approval. No one. You think you have that power, when in fact you have none. You came here under the presumption you would be the ultimate authority. That you would show up and render judgment in this petty dispute over precious resources between lesser people. But instead, your arrogance and self-interest was your undoing. Blinding you to the real power at work here. Something far beyond your feeble imagination. We came at your request to help solve the problem, not create You came one. because I wanted to see the mighty Federation for myself, the greatest power in the galaxy. Needless to say, I was disappointed. They never wanted our help. They were setting us up from the start. Commander Rydak saw what you did in those mines, how you bioformed innocent people against their will and turned them into Takan. Gone. A word I haven't heard in a very long time. At the height of our power, the Takan Empire spanned hundreds of thousands of light years and trillions of Takonians. An empire that encompassed what is now considered Federation territory. What's yours was once ours, so it feels only right that we reclaim what was lost. Everything you hold dear will be gone, the first of many painful losses to come. That may play well with your bioformed friends, but your empty threats don't scare us. Just a friendly word of caution. You'll know when I'm threatening you. You might be surprised how many want to be part of the most advanced civilization the galaxy has ever seen. We will not stop until we've reclaimed what is rightfully ours. Imagine what a queen, a starship captain, or even a Federation ambassador could accomplish if their power was wielded by a truly superior entity. 